Right, what are we going to take? The Katagiri Katsumoto. Well, that could be a Japanese car. Definitely doesn't sound Swedish. Reno Piccolo, the Bolt Hellcat. Oh, I need 3,000 XP for that. I've only got 234. I need 1,500 just to fix the knocking noises from the engine bay. I could do that. I just need a hammer. Find and fix any running gear problems. List provided. Well, that sounds interesting. Let's try that. Horrible colour, dude. Let's get rid of that colour. <laughs> right, order. Front shock absorber cap. Doesn't say which side. Front wheel hub. Rear axle knuckle housing A. Ooh, that's a new part. The rear axle knuckle housing A. Find to fix any running gear problems. They don't sound like gear problems. Isn't that more transmission problem? Sorry, st hang on a minute. Front of Absorber? A suspension? Wheel? Axle? That's nothing to do with gears. Okay, let's have a look at condition of these things. Right, there's the one broken bit. We can see that. That looks like the... Rear Axle Knuckle Housing A. Is that a knuckle housing? Front wheel hub. Hmm. How do we just do an inspection? Examine mode. There we go. Parts diagnosis. In this mode, you can check if the part is broken or not. You can also use purchase tools to do this. Remember that not all of the parts can be checked this can be, can be checked this way. Most of them will require use of the OBD scanner or driving the car through the test track or diagnostic path. There's info on how to diagnose each part following the uh, info on how to diagnose each part below the part's name. Can be examined by taking off the car. Can be examined by the OBD scanner. Cat. Okay. So the only way to check that wheel is to take it off the car. Well, I guess the first thing to do is to put it on the lifter. We can't go into the test path yet. None of these are accessible. Let's go the right lifter. Be kind of cool if when you said move it, somebody physically drove it. <laughs> That'd be quite funny. All right, three, examine. Nope. We have to take it off to examine it. I'm not sure you do, to be honest. I mean, I've seen mechanics look at a wheel superficially, move it around, and kind of assess it. Okay. Condition unknown. Take this wheel off and have a look at them. Tubeless steel belted radial. Okay. Okay, 71%, 71%. Let's hide that. Are they red because they're broken, or are they red because that's the colour? I wonder. Faulty parts found. Front shock absorber cap. Now, it was highlighting... How do we get at that thing? Let's go over here. Accessible from wheel side on the lifter. Okay. Front spring can't come off because it needs the shock absorber off. Which can't come off because it needs... What does it need? Sway bar. Okay. I want to take it to a sway bar. <laughs> right. Sway bar won't come off. Front spring won't come off. Do we have to... Trying to get the order of this thing. Can we definitely not just take that off? Yes, we can just take that off. Okay. 
Condition 14%. Front shock absorber cap. I'm guessing... No, I thought not. Front shock absorber cap. Let's get that one done. I still don't know what one of the parts is, though. Right to exhaust gearbox. Okay. Put the word shock in. Will that work, I wonder? Ooh. Front shock absorber cap. dollars who the heck would give you six dollars for that so we've got to click in there so that we put it in assembly mode put that back and if I look at my inventory now it's gone that part's been ticked the front wheel hub now I don't know where the front wheel hub is. So I'm looking at the front wheel. There's the disc. There's the caliper. Drive axle. Suspension arm. In a tie rod. Where is the front wheel hub? What is it calling the hub anyway? doesn't mean the rim because that's fine so tell us what's in the body gearbox the rear axle knuckle housing a which I'm guessing is in here somewhere could that be the rear axle knuckle housing a no, that's just colouring it red. Hide. Condition. Something there looks completely broken. Look how red that is. Let's have to take that wheel off and have a look. Something is definitely not right. Okay. Three to examine. that examine that it definitely looks bad doesn't it 19% that's the knuckle housing so the next question is how do we get the knuckle housing off wow look at all the red parts oh my life there's a lot of stuff I've got to take off right now okay <laughs> bit by bit what else have we got? I'm going to get that spring out of there. I'm guessing we need to take the cap off. Let's get the spring out. Knuckle housing. Do we need the brake disc off? That won't come out because we need the calipers. This is a nasty piece to be broken. Let's get the pads. Let's get the disc. <laughs> There's no way, absolutely no way you're going to remember to put all these bits back on. Oh dear. Okay, what else have we got to take off here? The rear, the suspension arm's got to come off. Like, we've got to take the whole car apart just to take the, look at it. The rubber bushing. The suspension arm, we're getting there. I hope this pays well. Dear me. Shock comes out next. Accessible from under the car. How deeply annoying. Let's see if there's anything else we can do from here. Sway bar end rear link. Off you come. That's it. We're just down to... Oh, hang on. Can we get that one? Small rubber bushing. Accessible from the... Accessible from under the car on the lifter. I 
feel like that one... Okay, we've got to put it on the lifter now. That is the nastiest component. Like, this one component is almost like a job in the previous car mechanic simulator. Okay. Um, let's click on that. So we want... Let's zoom in a little bit. Whoa. This. Keep going. And finally, the bush. The Kate Bush. Oh, what? So to take this off, we can't because we need to set the bush off. To do that, we need to set the suspension arm off. Look at this! That thing is now officially floating. Now we can take the bush out. And finally, we can take the knuckle. <laughs> you got to be joking me. Right, we haven't even done all this yet. Right, we don't need to change any of those. They're all fine. And we can't repair them anyway. So we're going to need... Running gear... So it classes that as running gear. This thing. The rear axle knuckle housing A. And we have to get it to... What? If we can repair it, 69%. Rear axle knuckle housing A. That's what we're after. So let's just put the word knuckle in. The rear axle knuckle housing A, $110. Get rid of the old one. Yep, looks like the right part. $16 for the old one, 110 for the new. But the pain of this. Right, assemble mode. On goes the knuckle housing. Bolt them diagonally, as you do. Wheel hub cap. Brake disc, brake calipers, um, let's bolt that on, okay, what else have we got, a small cake bush, I've got other stuff to put on yet. Hope it knows which order these things go in. Good grief. Shock absorber. Um, spring cap. <laughs> Sway bar. Um, we do anything else from down here? Spring. Wow, you can even do that from down here. That's pretty cool. Can we check inventory? Yeah, we can. So we've got Rear suspension arm to go on. Which must be... Barely see it. Crikey. There it is. Everything's transparent so you can't really see... Go on. What else have we got? Rubber bushing. Suspension arm and a sway bar. Okay. Alright. Let's see if we can spot some stuff here. Suspension arm. Where the heck does that rubber bushing go here? Yeah, that bolts through there. Um, we're down to the sway bar link, which is a. I can't actually see it anymore. Blimey. Sway bar rear link. Which link was it? Sway bar front end link A. Is that even off this wheel? Off this side? Was that off the front bit? Did I get that off the front? I think I might have done, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> you got to remember where you put everything? There it is. That's that one. So, now I think we're just down to wheels, aren't we? Let's get them all. Yeah, we're just down to wheels, but... If you look at the order, I think there's still one thing left. Which is the front wheel hub. So I'm going to put the rear wheel back on now because 
we don't need to hello thank you it's good that you can do this while this is still in there that's kind of cool so let's get that wheel back on like that because we don't need to mess about with that now I'm only I'm slightly confused about where this hub is the front wheel hub which is the hub it's got to be one of these things isn't it I guess we're going to have to just disassemble until we find it. Unless we can actually spot it. The front wheel knuckle. We did the knuckle. Suspension arm. Brake caliber. Axle. What is the hub? Is that Was that the hub in the middle? Wheel hub bearing. Maybe... Maybe it means the bearing then. Okay. Let's get into the centre there and see if it classes that as being the hub. Wheel hub bearing needs this off first. Get the axle off. Okay, if we get that out of there, that's on seventy-two percent. That's the wheel hub. That's the thing we need. Now fifty-fifty, we got the right one. 70%. Damn it. So it turns out it's this one that's broken. Let's get rid of the caliper. Let's get rid of the pads. Let's get rid of the axle. Let's take the bearing out. And then the hub comes... No, 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 I didn't want that. I want the wheel hub, that one. That looks rusty, which kind of, yeah, 17% look. Okay, front wheel hub, that's fine. Uh, can we repair that? No. I think it may be because we don't have the repair skill, even the 50% repair skill. I think that's the reason it just will not let us repair anything right now. Uh, hub. Front wheel hub. 110. Was he broken one? There it is. 14. Let's go back into assembly mode. Let's get the hub bearing on. Disc back on. Pads back on. Caliper on. Finally, the drive axle. And the wheel. And just assemble the other side, then that should be it. And then check the inventory, make sure we haven't forgotten something. Whoops. Add on the wrong mode. Front wheel hub. Wait a sec, 17%. That's not right. Front wheel hub. We put the wrong one on. Okay. I thought I sold that. Seventy percent. Why did it show seventeen then? That was that was fairly confusing. What just happened there? Hmm. We're gonna have to check the inventory at the end. I definitely sold the broken one. That's why I do that. It's exactly why I do that. Come on, drive axle, on you go. I just know I'm going to have something left here. I've just got this horrible feeling. <laughs> something left. Okay, let's have a look. Inventory all. Nothing. Job done. Yes! 
That was tricky. I mean, the thing about that job was was that knuckle. That knuckle. That's a sod to get to. Take your car, hombre. So let's have a look at what the breakdown is. Earned $500, apparently. I'm still not understanding this. It just seems to add them up. 1, 2, 400, uh, 450, 470, 490, 498, 504. It is. 504 is all of those added up. And yet that's, a, that's an expenditure. So this accounting format really confuses me. I would have liked... I would still have liked a more detailed breakdown. Um, I'd like a report screen at the end with like income and expenditure. And of course, I would like to see anything that I um, purchased, any items that I purchased here as um, expenditure, and then any items that I sold as income. So I, if I take his broken part off, buy a new one, and sell his old one, I should see an income and an expenditure for that. Yeah. Equally, if I repair something, then that's not going to show up. But this is just so confusing. Money spent on job, 252. And yet it shows as an income. Really strange. 300 XP. This XP goes up really slow. Now I'm 402. Blimey. Four jobs waiting. Repair all running gear faults. Timing needs replacing. Timing, timing, timing. That sounds like an easy job. Easy job, quick job, quick XP, quick money. It looks like I'm going to have to grind through these as quickly as I can in order to get the XP that I need. Um, there you go, timing belts basically. So let's get that on the on the lift. May not need to put that any higher. Let's pop, pop that up. Um, the order is the belt tensioner, the timing belt and the water pump are for... Well, there's the belt tensioner. Timing belt. That's the serpentine. There's another job coming in. Now then, where's the timing belt? I'm only seeing two belts here. Serpentine A and serpentine B. We want the timing belt. So where is the timing belt then? Is it around the other side? Was it inside the engine? It may be inside the engine, you know. I wonder if timing belt cover. Aha. So the timing belt is inside its cover. Now that is different from the last one. That's a bit more involved. So the serpentine A comes off first. Then the serpentine B comes off. And then... Oh my life, are you kidding? Then we've got to take off the crankshaft. Crankshaft pulley. The water pump comes off automatically. Which is a, which is a, needs replacing anyway, so that's fine. Then we should be able to get the timing belt cover off now. Oh my god, why? We're going to get inside the engine. This is kind of cool. Ooh. It's a little bit simplified. Okay, I think that's all the parts. Again, I'm going to check the repair, but I'm pretty certain we can't do it. Oh, no, 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 no. We can actually repair something. 74%, which I don't think we need to do anyway. Everything needs to be at 63. So let us just quickly look at what we need to do. We need a water pump R4, a timing belt... And a belt tensioner. A water pump R4, a timing belt, and a belt tensioner. Let's go for the pump. Water pump R4. Timing belt. And a... I tell you what, that search facility is the best thing that ever put in this game. Okay, um, engine, water pump R4, yep, we got the right one, so we'll sell that. Uh, timing belt, we got the right one, so we'll sell that. And then the belt tensioner, uh, we got the right one, so we'll sell that. I like doing it that way, because that means I can just focus on, like, everything I've now got in my inventory 
is up to the right standard and has to go back on the car. So I, I kind of feel that that systematic approach just helps a little bit to make sure you don't screw something up and sit there scratching your head. Let's get that back on. So it's a relatively quick job, especially compared to that last one. It will be interesting to see how much XP we get for this. Uh, we got 100 XP for the last one, but that was quite an involved job. But actually, I've just noticed, look, 4 and 4 XP. We just got XP for putting that back on. 4 and 5. So we're kind of learning on the job, which I hadn't spotted. I don't know if that's because this is all new stuff to the mechanic. 4 and 6, put this back on. 4 and 7. Or whether that just happens naturally anyway. Uh, what's the... What are we missing here? Serpentine belt A, which is the... I think that's everything. Let's press O. Uh, tick, tick, tick. $429. Watch the XP. 418. Click finish. 518. So we got exact we got 100 XP, which is exactly the same as we got for the last job. Uh, however, possibly the last job we ticked up a little bit of XP in the top corner there just by uh, doing bits and pieces. I don't know. I need to keep my eye out on that one. Anyway, let's do another job. 